nervous. Today we're going to be using our giant DIY cargo right. plane and we're going to be using it to skyhook a baby. All right, friends, welcome to Flight Test. We got a fun project today because we are bringing back a blast from the past, mainly our dear friend Cabby. If you guys haven't noticed, we have a love of Disney planes and we built a version of Cabby way back before we ever got out to Edgewater. We then, when we got to Edgewater, decided to blow it up even bigger and use it for things like dropping pumpkins. Oh, yes! 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 Did it! Boys, go! Oh, 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 I'm still way off. But oh! it's not now! <laughs> and ultimately, when I dropped the turkey, and unfortunately during that time, I cooked the battery, and Cabby actually caught on fire in midair. Now, I did get it down safely, but unfortunately, I had to kick his face off to keep the whole plane from burning up. We really wanted an excuse to kind of bring Cabby back to life, but we had to have a cool mission or a cool episode to do it around. And that's when I thought of the cool idea of bringing back a challenge from the past all the way back in World War II called Skyhook. All right, now before we get any further, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what are these guys doing skyhooking a baby? Well, there's actually some history involved that inspired us to do this, and it has less to do with the baby and more to do with some crazy experimentation that actually started back as early as kind of when airplanes started to take flight for the very first time. And it wasn't until World War II, actually in 1943, where we actually tried to hook living things for the very first time. Now, we didn't start with humans. No, actually, we started with animals, and we were trying to figure out a way that we could effectively pick up someone or something from the ground and bring it into the airplane without it like dying. Now the Skyhook was something that was financially backed by the CIA. Basically the Skyhook came in the form of a care package that was dropped from the sky from an airplane to somebody on the ground and it came with everything that you need to Skyhook yourself into the air into the back of a moving airplane. First things first you'd put on your harness then you'd inflate a giant basically weather balloon that would basically tether up up about 500 feet in the air, this would allow the airplane to come by and pick you up. But what they found was when they had a longer tether lifted up by a balloon, it actually softened the pickup and actually allowed the person to be picked up nearly vertically and then into forward flight as the plane flew over. It basically softened the experience for the rider. It allowed them to be able to pick up people from more sketchier places like forests or even the water, which is pretty crazy. So the cool thing is, is that airplanes are still hooking things into the sky to this day, probably most commonly is sky banners. If you ever see a plane towing a banner over the beach or whatever, look up on YouTube how they actually pick those up. It's actually really, really intense and really interesting to watch. Um, but today, we're gonna be recreating the sky hook from the past where they were actually trying to pick up people. Instead of people, we have a small scale C-119, so we need a small scale human. So we got this baby doll, and we're gonna hopefully sky hook this thing into the air and retrieve it into the back of our car go playing. That's the goal. Let's go see how the guys are coming. Let's do it. So I think what we're going to do first is we're going to take Cabby. There you go. That looks like Cabby, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an artist, man, okay? So we're going to take Cabby here, and then down here, we need to get a baby. Okay. All right, because little plane, little person. Right. Deal? All right. Yeah, makes sense. We're going to get a little balloon. <laughs> See that? Yeah. On the baby, we're gonna fasten it to the baby, and then what we'll do is we'll fly Cabby over, we'll snag the balloon some here. Uh -huh. We gotta figure out a release mechanism for the balloon so it doesn't come down and take down the airplane because okay. we've done that a lot. Yeah. Um, and then we gotta also find a way to get it from the front where we snag Cabby, then to hopefully pull like baby inside. It in somehow. Yeah, yeah, we don't wanna turn baby into a wrecking ball. No. So, um, so that's, I think, the plan, and we'll just recreate Skyhook, and hopefully if we do it good enough, this guy will end up inside of Cabby. Let's, Cabby will eat the let's do it. We have some stuff to figure out though, huh? A lot of stuff to figure out. Yeah. First thing we gotta do is we gotta build a face. So before we start working on Cabby, we're actually gonna do some preliminary tests. Just some proof of concept tests to figure out if this project is actually gonna work before we put more time and energy into Cabby. So to do that, we have a Kraken just laying around the shop that uh, we thought would be perfect to use. And all we're doing is putting two carbon fiber booms at the front of it, kind of uh, in a cross pattern, an X pattern, uh, tying them with some zip ties, putting some paint stirs on there to extend a little bit. So we have about a foot and a half of space to be working with to catch the string in. So for this proof of concept test, we're actually gonna hold up the string using some balloons, and the string is gonna have a little grappling hook attached to it, which is laser cut out of plywood, and it should be enough to hook onto the string on the plane, and hopefully catch it on the plane without ripping off. Now we're actually doing some testing on this thing uh, to see if it'll work or not, and we learned pretty quickly that balloons are not gonna work. We were out in some wind, and even a little bit of wind just pushed the balloons too far to the side, so they were basically flying horizontally, 
pulling the string uh, level to the ground instead of raising it up vertically like we want it to be. So instead of balloons, we're gonna switch to using a quadcopter to hold the string taut vertically. Now we did a bunch of testing and we're feeling okay about it. We have it hooked onto the plane. We actually need to figure out a system to be able to reel the baby in. And to do that, I'm building a winch system using a modified monster servo, which rotates continuously 360 degrees around and around and around again, instead of a typical servo that only goes 180 degrees maximum rotation. So I just hooked this up to a foam board spool, uh, wrapped the string around it a few times, and hopefully it should be able to reel in the string from the front of the plane to the winch. Now with the spool system on top of the plane, it just wasn't really flying well. We didn't have enough power and there was just a lot of drag. So we're gonna have to figure something else out because this testing just isn't giving us the confidence that we need. All right, well, the guys are in there trying to figure out how they're gonna skyhook this baby. I figured I'd come out here, take a lay of the land, see where we could pull off this kind of operation and also get set up, but also thank our sponsor for this video, and that is our friends over at Jackery. So if you're not familiar with Jackery, Jackery makes really cool outdoor power electronics. Now, specifically the gear we're using today is we're using the Jackery Explorer 1000. Now, this is a huge battery bank that we're gonna be able to take out the field, and it's perfect actually for RC hobby, but you can use it for a whole slew of things from camping to emergency medical power supply to powering, I don't know, maybe like an outdoor electric grill. This thing will do it all. Now, specifically the Explorer 1000 is the biggest Jackery power station at a thousand watts. And the cool thing about it, it's also one of the most portable power stations with that amount of power. Now, specifically in regards to the ports, it's got two USB-C, two USB, one DC car port, and three AC outlets. So like I said, any of your electronic devices, especially if you're a hobbyist like what we're doing out here, you're gonna be able to plug in your chargers, your glue guns, everything you need to keep flying when you're out of the flying field, but also keep comfortable. You can even plug in like a little mini fridge or something. Now, beyond the Explorer 1000, we're coupling that with another product of theirs, the Solar Saga 100 watt solar panel. Now, the cool thing about this, as you can guess, it's a solar panel, so it's actually gonna be feeding power into the Explorer 1000, charging it while you're charging your other devices. In other words, this means that when you're out and off the grid or you're camping or you're at the flying field, you're gonna be able to maintain power no matter what you're doing as long as that sun is shining. Now, I'm gonna be honest, they sent us these units for this sponsorship, but we've been using them ever since and they have proven to be a very vital tool for what we do here at Flight Test, but also just when we're out flying and having fun, we always are carrying one of these units to the field to keep power. We keep that hot glue gun hot, keep your batteries charging. It's extremely convenient. So we couldn't be more thrilled with our experience with it. So if you wanna learn more about this, you can check out the link below uh, where you're gonna find all the information about the Explorer 1000 as well as the solar panels and huge shout out to Jackery for sponsoring this video and also you guys watching. Without the two of you, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much and let's go check out how this build is going. All right, so unfortunately I'm not a very good pilot and I kept on missing and failing at trying to hook it with the Kraken. Uh, Anders came up with a really cool concept and we're kind of going back to our roots and do what we always love to do and test things from our balcony. We do things like throwing our big monster airplane from here or even testing our little bombs dropping off to see how they smush. What Anders has made is a really cool box that's gonna hold all the key components that Cabby's gonna have to have, but it's fastened to a long metal pole. So what I'll be able to do is swing this and kind of simulate the speed of Cabby, hook the payload, and then Anders can use those mechanisms, the servos and everything he designed to be able to see how well it'll go from the front transition to the back and ultimately winch inside the airplane. Now unfortunately we had some mixed results here. We kept on trying and we found out really quickly that if we hit it too low or too high it caused other problems that simply were not fixable. So finally after our third time we did have some luck and it did work but there's a lot to figure out before it goes on the caddy. So now that all the testing is done we're gonna go ahead and move forward. We got some mixed results but I think we have a pretty good idea on what we need to do to ultimately have success with Skyhook and the baby. Anders is gonna be taking the components out of the box like the carbon fiber tubes and putting that in the front of Cabby's nose. He's also gonna be taking the winch from the box and put it in the back cargo area and then kind of rolling over that area so when it goes from the front of the nose to the back of the airplane you can kind of transition in and hopefully get inside cabby's cargo area without getting hung up each side of the plane is now going to be more responsibly powered with heavier gauge wire and it's going to be swapping out the motors and also the wiring harness enabling us to have two separate sets of batteries to power each side of the plane so hopefully we don't overtax anything and don't have a fire like before so cabby's looking really good we're ready to take this out this is going to be its first maiden and also our first crack at sky Look at the baby. All right, so these guys are getting cabby loaded up in the back of the truck. We're going out to ready-made RC runway, and we're gonna be trying to attempt to skyhook this baby. 
I, I'm a little skeptical, I'll be honest. But before we get out there, I wanted to take this time to ask you guys to consider subscribing. Shout out to all of our subscribers. It's because of you guys. This whole journey of flight test has been absolutely crazy and it wouldn't be possible without all of our subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We're doing videos like this all the time and it actually helps us out way more than you would ever know. So I see the guys heading out right now. So let's uh, let's head on out to Ready Made RC Runway. Let's try to skyhook this baby. And babies are so head heavy. Baby. Whoa! <laughs> that pretty good? Yeah. So rather than using like a big helium balloon like what they did back in World War II when they are discovering this, we don't have a big helium balloon. And when we were trying this earlier, when there's any kind of wind, it actually was getting just lower and lower and lower. And uh, you know, I lost them. So <laughs> rather than having lots of balloons with high lift that really kind of pull up against it, mm -hmm. or like the ones that look like blimps that kind of will angle into the wind and, and actually, I think it's called the Krenge effect. Um, propel themselves forward. We're gonna use a gremlin race quad and then that way basically you could take it up, hover it, yep. and then if I mess it up or this breaks, we just fly it down, reattach it, and try it again. Yeah. And the great thing is we can just pop it in angle mode and then it'll just sit there without like drifting on us much. And if it does drift, we'll just correct it, but it'll stay level and basically yeah. just pull that string taut. Doesn't matter what the wind does. Right. Nice. I like that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So what we're trying to do now is figure out where we should balance the plane. Uh, now every plane has to have a center of gravity and a proper center of gravity to fly well. Also, since we're putting this baby on here, uh, the baby's gonna be dangling from the front at first, which is gonna make the plane more nose heavy. But then once we drop it and then winch it in the back, it's gonna be behind the CG and it's gonna make the plane more tail heavy. So we just have to find a happy medium where uh, the plane will be flyable when the baby's in front and in the back. So the first thing that's gonna happen is Josh is gonna take off cabbie, maybe do a couple rounds. I'll take up the gremlin, the little quad, uh, bring the string up to level, uh, to height, where it's basically pulling it taut and the little grappling hooks are in place. Uh, Josh is going to do a couple flybys, see if he can catch it in the skyhook system, and then if he does catch it, hopefully it'll break away from the quad, break the little streamer at the preemptive tear that I made earlier, and then I'll be able to land the quad safely, and then switch transmitters to the winch system, and then use the switches here to reel in the baby into cabbie. Hopefully it's going to tuck into the little cabbie's back and then Josh will be able to land cabbie safely with the baby also safely on the ground. <laughs> That's it, it's as simple as that. Okay. Ready to roll. Are you ready, big guy? I'm ready, dude. All right, made in a cabbie after I kicked his face off. You good, bud? Good to go. Something's gonna happen. So, Andres, if I say I don't have it and I toss it to you, you just gotta let the quad go, okay? Okay, sounds good. Cabbie matters more. All right, here we go. Three. <laughs> I'm nervous. Wow, okay. Cabbie's, Cabbie's back, Cabbie's happy. How's it feeling? Not bad at all. All right, I'm gonna pop the gremlin up. Oh, I miss Cabbie. Glasses off. Goggles I'm on. I'm flying, all right. Cool. <laughs> gremlin is in the air, pretty much right oh, above love, us. Love the angle. All right, tell me when you're good. I'm good, ready when you are. You're gonna have to come in pretty low, pretty much treetop level. Low is what I can do. And I'll try to hold this in place for you, but it is a little bit windy. Oh, there it is. Oh! Did I hit it? No. Good, thank goodness. Wow, it is windy. Okay, I see where you are now. Okay. We gotta hit it this way because we don't want to drag baby into the trees or power lines. Exactly. I'm gonna Close go. I'm gonna go farther out this time. Sounds good. Get a better lineup on it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Flying cabbie FPV is fun, but nervous, man. You just feel the mass in the air. I know that's a huge plane, dude. It looks like a real plane. All right. Right hand approach is probably not my best suit, but. Yeah! yeah! We got it. Wait. Uh oh. What? That take that take the thick. <laughs> yeah, I think. Ah! Oh, I hit the streamer. I hit the streamer. Okay. The streamer. All right, I'll land it. Yeah, we don't. Dude, look at my hands shaking right now. <sighs> you got this, man. A little stall landing on the top of the hill. <laughs> Nice, there we dude. Go. All right, hopefully Crush we it. have enough battery. We'll just check the voltage inside yeah. real quick. And uh, I'm sorry I hit the streamer, man. No, no worries, dude. Yeah, I'm still at four volts. What? I'm still at four volts. I'm not gonna tell Andrews this till afterwards, but the batteries literally broke loose from inside and we're back against the thing. <laughs> so it shifted into a pretty creepy, like, 
awkward. Like you could tell there's mass like moving around on us. No way, dude. Yeah, but it worked. Hey, Cabby, don't, don't care. <laughs> it's my fault. I missed baby. <laughs> Pretty much right below the quad and right above the grappling hooks. Right where? Hey. All right, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Nice, nice smooth takeoff there. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna pop up Graham Graham. Coming under the hood. Good video. All right. All right, this is it, huh? This is it, dude. All right, I'm parked right above baby. A little bit out. Almost where we were before. I'm going out over the field. Sounds good. And then you want to hit below the big pink one. I don't see him. Oh! Did I get any part of baby? Oh, <laughs> you dragged baby from the car seat. Wow, what am I pulling? Nothing. It was on your wing. You have, you don't you have you lost a, one of your wings yet. Oh my gosh, you did. <laughs> I think I had a GoPro on it too. Oh my goodness. All right, clear guys. Yep. Baby's in the middle of the runway. Watch out. Ah! Oh! Dude, you're missing a wingtip though. Awesome landing for missing a wingtip. <laughs> Boy, I felt that. <laughs> Holy cow, did I feel that. <laughs> you landed it with one wingtip. <laughs> nice landing, dude. Thank you. It must have been nerve wracking. All right, up give there. me a knife. We're going to cut off the other wingtip. What? <laughs> we have hot glue. Wow, that's a lot of wing. Yeah, dude. Let's glue it back on, gaff All right, tape. Let's glue it back on. Yeah, we're going to take gaff tape, but we're going to put it back on. Oh, grab me the hot glue gun. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of wing. Wow. And then we need some gaff tape. That's a cool cut. You know, if this falls off in midair, it's gonna be funny. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. Got my wing back. Hey, look at that. That's really strong. Stronger than ever. Yeah, I'm kinda like, once I saw it, I was able to line up really well on it, but I can't see it till the last minute. So yeah. his idea of, of snagging it may not be that bad. Yeah. You wanna try it? Sure, I'm thinking, if we if we still have it here, do you think it'd be easiest to go from like over here I so you think can you're right. see it? I think you're right. So come come in over this way. Right. I'll line up on that and I'll just put Cabby's face right on it. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Ready to try this again? You know, skydiving baby would have been a lot better than skydiving baby. <laughs> yeah. Why did we do skydiving? Baby? I don't know, man. Are you ready? Yep. Alright, try it again. Sands up PV. Alright, well it's flying better. Cool. Yo, you mean with the extra wingtip? <laughs> yeah, with that extra little wingtip. I'm just, I'm just anticipating at any moment that wingtip. All right, so Andrews, yep. just keep an eye on my cabbie, it's just mean. Oh man, this guy's moving around too. Watch out guys, get ready to move quick. Yeah! Yes! We got we it! Got baby! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We I got it, baby! I'm gonna release it from the things. Release it! And then, I don't know if it released or not, but we're gonna win. We got baby! <laughs> we got baby! <laughs> we got baby! Is baby going up? I can't, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Baby's still on the front end. Baby is still on the front end. Oh, no! Oh, no, what do we do? Guy hooked work, though! <laughs> Oh man! It is doing bad things to Cabby. <laughs> Worst things to Baby. I can't tell if it's still on the front or not. It's still on the front. What are, what are the people driving by thinking right now? Oh man! <laughs> we got Baby, dude. Dude, Baby is flying though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why isn't it dropping? It must be caught on something. I have full. Uh, You good? It was a little slow fly by the baby. I'm giving them a little slow Oh, okay. Baby. It went real quiet for a second. Oh, shoot! 
Cappy's out of juice, guys. Uh oh. Oh. Hold on. No, we're good. Watch out, guys. <laughs> Baby clipped the tree. Baby, just clip you guys. Watch out. Watch out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Get landing, guys! Woo! <laughs> Cammy's face is off just like the original time. You know, I, I had a glimpse of hope when I got over that, hit the trees, got around here, and I swore, I'm like, I'm gonna make it. And then I see baby in the corner of my eye snag the flight test tent, and then all I'm thinking is, I'm gonna kill all my friends at once. <laughs> so, Skyhook. Big success. I don't know. Have really, the baby. Wait a minute. Yeah, let me see this guy. <laughs> Baby's oh happy. <laughs> Still smiling. The one eye doesn't really blink anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! Okay, so so Skyhook, not historically accurate. Probably not. <laughs> not quite. Okay. But it's all the more impressive that they actually pulled it off with real people back in the day. Yeah. Right. Which is crazy. Very. Like, because if that happened in real life, I mean, you're done, though. Yeah. So. yeah. This this definitely was more like typical to what you saw in the early Skyhook tests. Yeah. Where that poor soul <laughs> got like dragged through the air. But oh my gosh, was it fun? We brought Cabby back for a short amount of time. <laughs> Uh, lost a wingtip. I almost, you almost killed me. Almost killed all my friends. Um, <laughs> but, but it was, it was fun. Hopefully, it inspired you guys. If you want to see more projects with Cabby, we've done a couple of them. We'll put those right here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. And until next time, see ya. See you later. <laughs> All right, friends, before we let you go, I want to talk about a couple things. Uh, we take a couple things of flight tests very, very seriously with a lot of passion. Number one is inspiring you guys with taking history and bringing it to reality and pushing the limits of what flight can be. The second thing we're equally as proud of is our safety record and all the energy we put behind the scenes to try to make our episodes inspirational, but also as safe as possible. Sometimes even with a lot of planning, things can sometimes go sideways and we always take an effort to take what we've learned and apply that into the future so we can be as safe as possible. We here at Flight Test really want to encourage you guys to enjoy the hobby do it safely and we'll see you next time.